Hello beautiful people, good morning, good afternoon again, good evening, wherever you're watching this video from. It's me, Peter. Thank you so much for joining this section again. I really appreciate you. Today, we're going to talk about a different uh, topic, which is going to be domain functional level. In our video series, Hive, this is going to be the 12th video. And um, in the last video, we talk about, what do we talk about? <laughs> okay, we talk about how we can find user object in Active Directory by going to our Active Directory users and computers. And we right click on the domain, we click on find. But today, we wanted to do uh, domain functional level. So by definition, domain functional level is a settings in Active Directory that determines the available features and capacity within a specific domain. So meaning that it represents the minimum operating system requirements and features set that all domain controllers within the domain must meet. So if you click on raising it, I think the reason you want to raise it is just because to have the features and capacity, uh, capacity or the compatibility, or maybe you want to increase the level of security. Since we don't have a high level of another window server here, what did I mean by that is that, for example, the maximum window server that we have here is 2016. Let's say I have a different domain controller that is server 2022, I can raise the functional level. But let's explain a little bit what it is. And I wanted to make sure that you understand why you wanted even to do this. Let's imagine that, uh, let's imagine your computer network is a big team. They are working together. So in this team, there's a different level of ability and skills. So let me just bring this paint and let's, let's have something virtual. So I'm going to use this as a computer network. So they do have different ability and skills. For example, let's say this one speak English, <laughs> look at me, English, this one, Spanish, and this one, uh, Yoruba, and this one speak French. So there are levels of, there are different levels of ability and skills that determine what they can do. So meaning that this computer only speak French, Yoruba, Spanish, and so domain functional level is like a level of skills and capacity that your team has. So in a very simpler word, it's just that level, it's just a way to describe how advanced and powerful your computer network is. It affects what features and function the network can actually use. So, do you understand that a little bit? Okay, let me let me let me bring it in another way. Let's think about it as a video game. So you start at a level which, with limited ability. You know, when you're playing Mario, and I don't usually play too many games, but as you progress and reach higher level you're going to unlock new features and powers so which make your game more interesting and challenging so similarly in your computer network there are different levels called functional level so each level actually represents a set of features and capacity that your network can use the higher the level the more advanced and powerful your network becomes. So when you raise the, just like we did here, we wanted to do here, when you raise the functional level, it's like leveling up your computer network. So it means 
upgrading to a higher level to unlock new and improved features. So this feature can include like uh, better security measures, improve the way your computer talks to other, each other, and also support for the latest, uh, latest softwares and technology. So for example, let's say you have a Windows Server 2008 RT, you have Windows Server 2012, you have Windows Server, now we have 2016 and we already have 2022. So they are all different. One thing that we have to note here is that it's very important to note that when raising the domain functional level is a decision that is actually need to be carefully considered. So just like a video game I mentioned earlier, um, when you reach a higher level, you can go back to a lower level. So it's very important to make sure that all computers in your network are ready for this upgrade, that everything works well with the new, uh, with the new features. So raising the domain level is like giving your computer network a power boost. So it allows you to do more, enjoy more features, and keep up with the latest technology. But remember, always plan and test before making changes to ensure a smooth transition for your team. So that is just everything about domain functional level. Uh, you can, if you think that you still don't understand that, you can actually do some research more, but that is everything I can tell you about this. Maybe in the future, if I do install uh, a different server, I will go ahead and repeat, uh, retake this uh, <laughs> domain functional level again, but uh, you might be asking, okay, Peter, <laughs> why do we, why do we need this? I mean, why, why should an admin go ahead and raise the, the functional level? Well, the only reason is access to new features, uh, improve security. Maybe you're thinking of enhancing your replication, or maybe compatibility with a new, um, newer system or maybe for future proving. So there's a lot of reason why you wanted to do this in real life. And this whole information I have today, thank you so much for joining the session. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to see you in my next video where we're going to talk about the Operation Masters in full. Thank you so much. Like it, subscribe if you are new here, and keep enjoying yourself with the latest technology uh, training. Bye-bye for now.